Hello. Welcome to my channel. In this lecture, we'll learn what is the difference between link and append in Blender. Let's get started the lecture. We have such a living room model. Let's say we want to add a vase on the table. We have another Blender file in which there is our vase model. We can import this vase model from that Blender file into our living room Blender file. We have two options to import this model. Append and link. Firstly, let's import the vase with append option. To do that, go to file menu, click on the append option. Let's find the Blender file named vase. Choose the file, and click on the append button. It gives us a library which contains different types folders. You can import any kind of file as you want. Collections, images, materials, objects and textures. In this case, I only need the vase object. So, double click and open the object folder. Choose the vase object. There can be more than one object in this folder. In this case, you need to choose the object you want to import. Let's click on the append button. As you can see, we have imported the vase object into our scene with append option. This is a full copy of the original, so it's not linked to the original in any way, which means we can move, rotate and scale the vase independently. We can go to edit mode and edit the vase also. Let's move the vase on the table. Select the table, go to edit mode, select the top face of the table. Press shift S, and choose the cursor to select it option. Go back to object mode, select the vase. Press shift S again, and choose the selection to cursor option. There we go. Press Shift S again, and choose the cursor to World Origin option. Now, let's import the same vase with Link option. Go to File menu, click on the Link option this time. Select the vase object again, and click on the Link button. Let's try to move scale and rotate the vase. As you can see, we cannot transform in any way. Now, let's try to go to edit mode. As you can see, we cannot switch to edit mode. We cannot change this object any way. Because, this is an instance of the original object which can't be edited. It is linked to the original object. If we want to make changes on the instance vase object, we need to change it on the original Blender file. Firstly, let's save this file. Then, open the original vase blender file. Move the vase on the x-axis, and scale up it little bit. Even go to edit mode, and edit some faces. Finally, save this original file. Let's open the living room file again. As you can see, all changes have been made here also. Link data will continue to update if the original data is updated. This will allow us to work on assets in separate Blender files, and then link them all into a main file. This is very useful if you work on large and complex scenes by sharing the work among your team members to achieve greater productivity. That just prevents any kind of overlap by allowing you to work from separate files. However, if you want to change the vase in this main Blender file, you can make it local. In this case, you can edit the vase whatever you want. But, it still keeps its data linked to original. Let's see how it works. Select the vase, click on the object menu, go down to relations, make local, 
and click on the selected objects. In this case, we will be able to move, rotate and scale the vase. It has become local on the object level. Let's move the vase on the table. But, if we try to go to edit mode, it won't allow us. We cannot edit any data of the object. If you go into the object data, you can see that all the options here are disabled. If you want to change the mesh data, you need to click on the selected objects and data option. There we go. The object data has become active. Now, we can edit the mesh data as we want. We can add vertex groups, shape keys, UV maps and much more. But, we cannot still change material properties. Let's click on the material properties tab. As you can see, the material properties looks disabled. If you want to change material properties also, you need to click on the selected objects, data option and materials option. There we go. We can change the materials now. If you want to make all changes possible on the object, you can click on the all option. We can also import any rigged and animated character into this scene. I have such a blender file, sitting man on the chair. I want to import this animated man into my main Blender file using Append option. Click on the File menu, Append, and open the Object folder. We will select all objects except the chair, and click on the Append button. Let's select the armature. Press numpad 7 and go to top view. Hit the G key and place the character on the couch. Press the H key and hide the armature. Switch to solid view for smooth playback. Hit the spacebar and play the animation. There we go. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.